Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, sorry for the delay uh, because I have back to back stream, so uh, I'm sorry that we are five minutes late. But anyway, uh, we only need one hour to finish what we, we, we are left off with. So now for this uh, stream, we will continue from what we have what we talked about earlier on network addressing. And today we will have Bob with us, okay? So finally, we can help Bob to build his network. Now, uh, in the previous stream, what we have learned about is we stop at where about the subnet mask, right? So I hope you still remember what subnet mask is because you need that to calculate network addressing. And I will get straight right into I will get straight right into the packet tracer activity. So for those who haven't got the packet tracer file, it is on Weber. Go and get the packet tracer file, start up Bob the Builder, and then uh, we will use 40 minutes to configure IP address and to see whether you get all the IP address correctly. Uh, so just a side note, I can see that the line is a little bit lagging. So just bear with me, uh, it will be okay in a short while. And if you have any questions, just drop it on the chat. I'll be reading the chat uh, as well. So now for those who already have bought up, uh, over here, what you see is, is a very simple topology with only three LAN. So again, LAN are also called subnets and also called network. So we have LAN 1, LAN 2 and LAN 3 here. And what we are doing here today is an activity file, meaning that if you do the instructions correctly, you will get points for all the correct things that you have done. And when you open this file, you will see that is one extra window that you don't see in Alex the Hacker file, which is called the activity window. So over here, you should see something like this. Uh, and what you see here is called the packet trace activity. Now, uh, if you look at this, thing here that is this is all the instructions that we are going to go through one by one and to set IP address for all the PC that you see on the network right now and on this bottom left corner you can actually see that is the score now if you get all the items correctly then you'll get 16 out of 16 which means that everything that you've done correctly you get one point and there are a total of 16 things that we need to configure for Bob so that Bob can finally get 16 out of 16 and he get the Employee of the Month award. Okay, now, we'll start with the network in pink color first and that is LAN 1, which is the first example that we have seen in the previous lectures. Okay, now, what we need to do is we have to configure IP address for PC1 here and also PC2 here. Okay, now the next question is what is the IP address that I should assign to PC1 and PC2? To find out, you have to read the instructions. So over here, um, we start with the first instructions here for PC1. Now, look at this. We have to set the first usable IP in LAN1, which means that we need to calculate what is the first address in LAN1. Okay, that's the first thing. Now for PC2, we need to set, uh, I think this one is second usable. This is something wrong here. Uh, later on, you just change this to second usable. Okay, so uh, take note here. For PC1, you want to set the first address. For PC2, you want to set the second address. Now, before we assign, let's find out how we can calculate what is the first address and what is the second address. So I'll give you an example using your slides.
So what you see here now uh, is actually exactly what you have on the packet tracer and we'll start with the pink color network here. So we're going to find out a few uh, parameters. So the first thing is we have to find out what is the network address and then we have to find out what is the broadcast address and then what is the usable address range. So there are two ways this can happen. First, in some cases, you are given an IP address of a host in the network. So for example, in this case, if we zoom in to the first LAN, let's say, let's say uh, we know that PC1 IP is 192.168.1.1. Okay, this is the first example. Now, assuming that you do not know what is the you do not know what is the network address. So let's say you do not know this, okay? But you are given one IP address within LAN 1. With that, you can calculate network address for LAN 1 by doing the end operation of using this IP address with the subnet mask, which is what we have seen in the previous lectures. Okay? So let's get to the example here. Let's say if you are given an IP address of a PC. So this is PC1 IP address here. Uh, wait, let me just move my screen. Now over here, you see that this is PC1 IP. And again, the rule says that if you have one IP, you know the mask of the network, you can find the network address. And in our case, the network address is actually, uh, sorry, the subnet mask is slash 24. Okay. And if you remember in the previous class, slash 24 means 24, 1 in the network bits and the remaining 8 bits for the host bits is all 0. So for us to do this, we need to translate this IP address of PC1 into the binary notation first. So step number 1, you want to translate 192.168.1.1 to binary and again, the way I do this is by using my favorite online calculator here. And then what you do next is make sure you get the notation right. We are going from decimal to binary here. And then uh, I want to translate 192 to binary. So if you press the calculator here, of course you can use uh, the scientific calculator or Windows calculator. 192. So you press convert. And here, this is the binary for 192. So over here, what I'll write is, I'll zoom in a little bit for you. 1100000. Okay, now we'll do the same for 168. So 168 decimal, you translate to binary, you will get 1010000. Okay, again, we'll do the same for number one, which is actually quite simple if you can guess. So one in decimal is also one in binary. So you have one here, followed by seven zero in front. So one, two, three here, and then you have four more zero here. So that is one in the binary notations. So we have another one here. So zero, 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 one. And with that, we have already converted. With that, we have already converted this one nine two one six eight dot one dot one to its binary notations. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to write the subnet mask here, so that you can do the end operations. So in our case, the subnet mask is slash twenty four, which also means that is twenty four. The first 24 bits are all for network and the last 8 bits are for the host, which is what we have learned earlier. So in the first 24 bits, you want to set this to all 1. Okay, so this is the IP address. This is the mask. Okay, now, so what you do here is you just set 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So here, 8, 1. Then another 8 1 here, 1 1 1 1. So we need another 8 1 to bring this to 24 1. So 1 1 1 1. So if you're already here, means that you have 24 1 for the network bits. The remaining part will be all 0 0 0 0 0 
zero 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 zero. Okay. So again, first thing, convert the IP address of PC one to binary, and then use twenty four one as the network mask because you have a slash twenty four. Now from here onwards, you just need to do the end operation. So we call this the end operation. And I think you have already learned this in one of the other subject where if you have one one then you get a one. One end with one is one. Okay, I write this down. One and with one you get a one. Other than that, everything else is just zero. Okay. So in our case we have performed the end operations here. So we'll do this bit by bit, start post bit. Guys, uh, I think uh, it is kind of lagging. It's okay guys, uh, I think it just reconnected so it should be fine for a while. Uh, anyway, I'll just repeat what I've just said earlier. Let me check the stream status. Uh. Okay, now it should be fine for now. Okay, so uh, if you didn't get what I said earlier, you didn't miss much. Uh, so we are trying to do the end operations for these two address. So again, uh, because this is an end operation, so in the place of uh, is it wrong? Uh? Wait now, uh, let me count again. Uh. Oh sorry, sorry guys, uh this is wrong. Thank you for pointing this out. Okay, uh guys, I have already fixed this. So uh, guys, thanks Q for finding out just now earlier when I do the translation for, for 168, this is actually wrong, so it is supposed to be 1 here. So make sure you make the corrections here and then uh, we are fine. So go on to uh, calculate this, so 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that is the first octet, we are done. So we move on to the next one again, 1, 1, you get 1, 1, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 1. 1, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So in fact, you get back exactly the same value if you haven't noticed already. So we go to the next one here. For the third octet, we do the same end operation. You get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So for those who can follow, actually there is a trick here where if you know that you are doing an and operations with all ones, you will get back exactly the same value. Okay, so you can just actually copy back the value without actually having to do this bit by bit. Now, the last part here, you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the last one, 1 end with a 0, you will get a 0. And that is all for all the binary uh, decimal to binary conversions and, and operations. So what do you have here is the network address. Okay, and that is how you get the net address. It's that simple. Now, in most cases, you would like, you will want to translate this one back to a decimal notation because uh, if you put it in binary, it is kind of confusing. So if you translate this back, you can get Again, you're using calculator to do so. If you are not familiar, I will show you how to do that. So in our case, you have to swap from binary to decimal first. And then you just put in all the decimal bits. So for our first octet, we have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. If you do a conversion, you get 192. Now then, so you get 192 here. Then we move on to the next 
octet number 2 10101000 press convert you get 168 and then you do the same for 1 you get 1 here all 0 then you get a 0 and this thing here this is your network address for LAN 1 okay so what you are seeing here the one that is highlighted in green color that is the network address for LAN 1 which is 192.168.1.0 okay now the next thing you want to calculate is what we call the broadcast address which is also the last address of LAN 1 okay but before you do that uh, you can if for those who are just who just join or who are new or who you miss any part in front what we are doing right now is we want to calculate the network address for LAN 1 given any IP address of a PC in the host okay so next part here So once we have the network address, the next thing we want to calculate is the last address. Okay, so the last address is given by. So you have to understand the concept first. Huh? Okay, before we go there, we just recap the concept. The first twenty-four bits is the network bit. The last eight bits, this is the host bit. So this is a slash twenty-four. So here again, you have twenty. You have 24 network bits here. And then you have 8 host bit here. Okay. Let's see if you can follow. I hope everyone is fine now. Huh? Okay. Uh, next thing you want to do is you have to understand this concept where it says that the first address in the network you set all the host bit to 0 to find the last address in the network you set all the host bit to 1 so I will write this down because this is a very important concept net address all host bit set to 0 okay now for a Broadcast address, for those who are not familiar, broadcast address is the last address of a network. All the host bit you set to 1. So this is a very important concept. You have to understand this before we can continue to find what is the last address. Okay, so based on this, we already know the network address, so we can just calculate for the last address. But in fact, I, I will just show you with, just to give you some clarity here. So over here, Now for us to calculate the, I will just rewrite the network address. Uh, for the network address is 192.168.1. Now remember the rule says that all network bits sets to 0, which is why you have 0, 0, 0, 0 here, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, which in turn translates to the 0 here. Okay, so this is the network address. Now the last address is 192.168.1. 1 and all the host bit will set to 1. So I will write this in binary notation for you. You have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 8 host bit here.
Now, if you press the calculator, 1111 will give you 255. Okay, let's try this. Now, if you go to your binary calculator again, 1111811111111, you will get a 255. So, in the place of decimal, uh, you get 255, which means that if you translate this one back to the binary, it's 255. Okay? So this is the last address. What you are seeing here, this one is the last address. Okay, now, uh, depending on whether you understand or not, I will give you more examples later on in the land tool. Okay, now for now, I hope you can get this. What we have learned here is you have the first address, which is the network address, and we say that to find the network address, we set all the host speed, which is the one in green color, to all zeros. For you to find the last address of LAN1, you set all the host speed in green color to all one. Okay, now in our example, the, we know that because this is a slash 24, only the last 8 bits are used as the host speed, which is why uh, our network address here is 80 here. And our last address, the broadcast address, is 81 here. Okay, so if I want to write this properly, I can write this as network address is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. The broadcast address is 192.168.1.0. 1.255 slash 24. Okay, now, after this, the next two things we want to calculate is the first usable address and the last usable address. Okay? So, uh, try to get this. If you cannot get this, don't worry because we have another example coming up. So uh, right now, we'll continue with this first. How do we get the first address? Now, first address, we just need to add one from the network address. Okay. So if you want to get the first address, okay, then in the uh, the first address that we can use on the network, which also means the address that you can assign to any PC, is taking the network address plus one. Okay, plus one. So in our case, the first address for LAN one is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. That is the first address that you can use to assign to any host in LAN one. Now, what about the last address? The last address we can find out by taking the broadcast address minus 1. So we take this address minus 1. That will give us 192.168.1.254. So this is the last address. Okay, now. If you are clear about this, then to write this properly, we can move this here. The first address is 192.168.1.1 and the last address here. So when we say first and last, we are actually referring to the usable address. Okay, usable means that the IP that you can assign to any host and the last usable address is 168.1.254. I'll uh, just erase this so that it is clear to you. And that is how we calculate for uh, the address range. We call this the address range here. The first to the last is called the network address range that you can use. So this is called the usable network address range. Okay, now uh, we will put this number into the box, the builder packet tracer file first. To see whether we count this correctly. After that, we will try another example using LAN2 so that you know whether you can follow or not.
So the next thing I want to do after I calculate these addresses is uh, okay. Now before I go further, can I check if everyone here is okay? Guys, can you can you tell me whether you are okay? Okay, good to hear. So based on this number here, we will move. We will go back to the packet tracer file, and then we want to put in the number here. So open the packet tracer, and over here, um, okay. We have a few questions coming up. What is broadcast address used for? Broadcast address is used if you want to talk to everyone on the network, which means that if in the network you have ten people. If you want to talk to all 10 of them, instead of talking to them one by one using the unicast, you can send the packet to the last uh, the broadcast address, then all the 10 people in the network will get the same packet. That is called the broadcast message. We will learn more about this in one of the slides later. Okay, so uh, over here, go to PC1, and then you want to configure the first usable address for PC1. So if you remember, the way we configure IP is using the IP configurations tab here. So go to PC1, under the desktop tab, click on IP configurations, and you can put in 192.168.1.1, which is the first address in LAN 1, first usable address. Okay. Now if you click on the, the subnet mask here, automatically, now automatically you will get 255.255.255.0 which means slash 24. Remember, slash 24 means the first 24 bits is all one. If you convert that to a decimal, you have 255.255.255.0. Now on packet tracer, uh, you don't have to uh, type the something mask automatically, it will appear. But you have to be careful because in some cases, if you are not using 255.255.255, for example, you want 255.255.255.128, then you have to change this manually. Otherwise, you will miss out one point here. Okay? Now, next thing, we have to configure the router for PC1 because we know everyone needs a router to get to the network, right? So in this case, who do you think, what is the IP address of the network LAN1? For the router. So over here, this is the router here. We have only one router zero. And in this router zero, you see that it is currently connecting to three network. Okay. So the one, the one that we actually want to see is this one here. Okay. The router zero here. In fact, I'll just zoom this in for you. Um, so over here, this router here you want to be looking at the line that is connecting this one here oh too big so uh, you want to look at this one okay and what is the IP address okay for you to find out you can just go into the router click on the router and then go to the configuration tab here the config tab and on the left hand side you will see this thing we call interface which means the interface of the router okay because router now you are connecting to three network so we need to find out what is the interface of router zero that is connecting to the pink color network for you to find out if your packet tracer is different you might see some number there if your packet tracer is not showing any port numbers you have to turn this on in the configurations tab so uh, you can go to the preference in your Cisco packet tracer, go to preference, and then mine and you will be a, a little bit different, but what you need to find is this. You have to look for this uh, always show hot labels. Okay. Uh, device power up. Okay, I will show you how to power up device later. Before that, let's do this first, okay? Look for this option, always show port labels in logical workspace. Check on this one, and then it will show you all the numbers here. 
see now you have all these FA00, FA01. These are the interface number. Now for those who need to turn on the device, for okay, because package race is very real, uh, if you don't turn on the device, you cannot use the device. Uh. Now uh, for PC, if you want to turn on P device for PC, go to the PC, go under physical. The first one here, then you see this is the power button. Uh, if you want to turn on PC, this is the power button. You click here, uh, can turn on and turn off one. Wow, very real one. Okay, but now it's already on, so you don't turn it off. For the routers, now if you want to turn on router, you go to the physical here. Okay, again, uh, under the physical tab of router, you find the power button. Over here, there's one power button like this, this one. You left click on this button, it will turn on the router. Okay, save power ma. If you don't use that, I don't turn it on. So you have to turn it on on your own. Okay, yeah. Now if you cannot find the button, you can always zoom in, zoom in, and then you can see that this is the power button. Click here. If you see green color, means your router is already start up. Okay, so I'll be uh, give it a minute while your router is starting up because this one it takes time for the router to boot and once you are in I will repeat again how you find the interface number so next thing if your router is already on go back to the config tab and now we want to find the IP address for LAN 1 okay so over here you have to be careful because yours and mine will be different now for my case I will find the interface that is closest to the pink color one. So you see here, FA10 is actually for the yellow color one. FA00, this one is for the pink color one. FA01 is for the blue color one. So on this router, you have three ports. FA10, FA00, and FA01. Now, for pink color network, I need to see FA00. Please make sure you look at the right one. Okay, so in our case, under the config, you go here, you find FA00. Now, for your info, fast Ethernet is FA. Okay, FA is the shortcut, the short form for fast Ethernet. So over here, you want to find this FA00. You click on it, and then you will see the IP address for FA00. Okay. Now this is where you configure the IP address for FA0. Now for your case, can you tell me whether you see any IP address? Yes or no? Please type on the chat. If there is no IP, I will show you how to put the IP in. Do you have IP address on your router? No. Okay, now fine. That's okay. So in that case, we have to put this in ourselves and the IP address you want to put for router is actually uh, more normally. Okay, normally you want to use the first address or the last address of network one. Okay, now in this case, all of us will use the last address. Okay, now what is the last address for network one? Just now we have already calculated the last address here. So let's go back to what we have calculated earlier. Now the last address that we can use is actually 1.254, not 255. Okay, 255 cannot use one. Uh. 1.0 also cannot use. So if for the router you want to use the last one, you can just assign 192.168.1.254. Okay, and then you just click on the you just need to click on the subnet mask. You don't have to type anything, it will appear automatically. Then one important thing don't forget that you have to turn it on otherwise uh, it will not take effect so over here you will see there is an on button here this on button after you type in 192.168.1.254 you click on then this router is already started you can now use the router okay now after this this is only the first step Next thing, you want to go back to your PC one and then go back to the config, uh, the desktop here, go back to where you set your IP and in the place of default gateway is your router. Remember, default gateway is your router. So 
you want to put 192.168.1.254 that is the router IP address for LAN 1 which is the last address that we have just calculated earlier okay then you if you are done just click close the tag and then if you go back to the packet tracer activity yeah right now if you look at the completion here look at the completion here you get 4 of 16 meaning that you have set a few things correctly okay now how do you know whether you have set correct what correct or what is wrong you can click on this button check activity if you check activity check results then um, there is a tab okay, we, you will see this message gamer don't die gamer revive that's because uh, we still haven't get full marks yet later on if you get a full marks then you'll get a congratulation message now if you want to know what is right and what is wrong you can check this tab called assessment item okay, this will show you all the things that you have to configure if you click here you will see that we have done four things right the first one on pc1 we give him the correct router ip yeah we also put the correct ip for pc1 which is the first address in land one subnet mask also correct 255.255.255.0 yeah three marks and then you see we also done one point for the router so we have already set the router that connect to LAN 1 we set it as the last usable IP 192.168.1.254 yeah correct so that means LAN 1 all done next thing if you want to continue this one we have to configure for LAN number 2 okay so uh let's get back to the pop builder file now if you already open this screen how do you close this you can just uh, click on the x button okay no worries no issues about that if you click x it will go back to the packet trace activity which is uh, what you want to see now and the next thing you want to look at uh, will be LAN 2 now in LAN 2 we have exactly the same physical setup we have two PC PC3 and PC4 connected to a switch at, and that switch connects to a router so next we want to set uh, okay before that sorry sorry i forget pc2 we have to set for pc2 first pc2 is also in uh i'm too excited to go to LAN 2 sorry yeah uh. let's finish LAN 1 first so pc2 now remember i said this one you have to change this to second usable uh there's an error in the instruction okay it should be the second address and then router 0 as pc2 router so again the way we do it get into pc2 go to the config desktop tab IP config and then here you put in the second address so naturally second address means uh, 192.168.1.2 that's the second address in LAN 1 subnet mask just uh, automatically you get this and now this is simple for us because we have already set the router earlier so again the router will be the same PC1 and PC2 router is the same because they are in the same LAN so 192.168.1. Last address 254. That's it. Okay, now we have a question here. For those who cannot see the FA10, FA11, you have to turn this thing on on the preference. So go to the preference in your Cisco packet tracer. Look for these options called always show port labels. Make sure this is ticked. Always show port labels. If you check this, then you will see all the port numbers. So yeah, if you have done this, let's see how, how many points that we already collected so far because Bob need us to help him. Okay, let's see. So yeah, if you have done this, you will get 7 out of 16 now. Can check results and then let's see what we have done correctly. Yeah, PC1 is done, PC2 is also done. Of course, uh, you don't get more marks for the router because every LAN we only need to set router one time so now we have 7 marks in total which is almost halfway so next thing let's try the same thing of what we have learned on LAN 2 so go to LAN 2 uh, we have PC3 and PC4 if you read the instructions here you'll see this time it is a little bit different okay now for PC3 you want to set the last second usable IP in LAN 2 
So it is not the first, this is not the second. In fact, now it is the last second usable. It means the last one minus one. The last usable address minus one more. That is last second usable. Okay, now for PC4, we want to set the 10 usable IP, mean that all the IP address pool, the range in LAN2, we use the number 10 IP for PC4. So of course, before we can do any of this, we have to calculate for the network address range. I will show you very quickly using an example and then we move back to this file. So in fact, now since we already are quite familiar, I'll just show you a quick example. Now in this case, you are already given the network address. So we know that the network address is 2.0 slash 24. The reason, okay, uh, no, you are not given the network address. You are given an IP address 2.1. So you have an IP address for PC3. Later on, we have to change this IP. Right now, it is 2.1. Later on, we want to change it to the second last usable. So we will do the same thing. Given IP address of a PC, and given the subnet mask of the PC is slash 24, I can find out what is the network address using the end operation. So for those who want to convert to binary, you can do the same. But right now, I will show you a quick shortcut. Okay. Now, remember, we say that if you have 81, binary 81, convert to decimal is 255. So in this case, I will just write 255 here, 255, 255, 0. Because I have three octets with eight ones. So this is the IP address. This is the mask. Okay, now, oh, sorry, I'm blocking the view, I'm blocking the view. Sorry, guys, I will rewrite this again, okay? Otherwise, you do not know where am I am. So, uh, we have this. Uh, so, over here, we have this PC3 IP, which is 2.1. So, with PC3 IP, and given the subnet mask, we can do an end operations and then we'll get the network address, right? So uh, normally, if you want to use the way I showed you earlier, then you have to convert 192.168.2.1 into binary, and then you do the end operations. Now, I'll show you a quicker shortcut. If you see that it's eight ones in that octet, that will translate to 255 in decimal. So in this case, I don't have to do the binary decimal to binary conversions. Okay, instead, I will write 255 here, which means 8 ones, 255, another 8 ones, so we have 16 up to here. Now another 255, 8 ones, so over here we have slash 24, 24 one, and the last one is all zero. Okay, now the next thing is, the way you calculate the network address is by doing the end operation, so you do an end, when you see a 255, or eight ones in binary, you will always, always get back the same number. So in fact, there is no need to count them manually. So for our case, if I see 255, I will just copy this one back exactly. Hold on, hold on a second. Huh? Give me 10 seconds here. My Apple Pencil decided to take a break during live stream. Give me 10 seconds. He just need 10 seconds to charge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, he's back. So one nine two, I'll just copy exactly two five five, I'll get back one six eight, same number. Again two five five, so I get back two here, the same number. Now when you see a zero, it is always zero. If you have eight zero means zero. So I'll get zero here. That is my network address. Okay? Now if you think you don't understand this. You follow the example I shown you earlier, where you will convert decimal to binary and you do the end operation bit by bit. If you think this is too easy for you, just do this because this will save you a lot of time. Okay, now 
After that, you want to know what is the broadcast address. So remember, broadcast address means all the host speed set to 1. That means in this case, because this is a slash 24, the first 24 is network bit, the last 8 bits is the host bit. So the first 24 bit again, you will just rewrite 192.168.2. Don't have to calculate manually. Now for the last one here, it's all 1. So 1111111. You have 8 ones. If you convert 8 ones back to decimal, you will get 255. So the last address is 192.168.255. Okay, so with that, you can calculate the first usable address, which is taking the network address plus 1. So you'll get 192.168.2.1. The last usable address is the last address minus 1. So you get 192.168.2.254. So that gives you the range of IP address you can use in LAN number 2. Okay, now once we have this list, let's go back to help Bob to configure LAN 2. Now every time you are doing this, remember to bring out the instructions so that you know what you are setting. And in our case, you want to set... Okay, yeah, we have a quick question here. Network address always start with 1. No, network address always start with 0. Okay, remember the first, uh, the first address is the network address is 0. If you start with 1, it's, it is the first usable address. Okay, and then uh, again the broadcast address is always the last address of the network. But the last usable address is the broadcast address minus 1. Okay, now going back to the LAN 2 here, we have to set PC3 to the last second usable. So what do you think the right IP is? Okay, if you see that this is the last, we have the last address here, 192.168.2.254. That is the last address. Okay, the last second means that you take 254 minus 1. So 254 minus 1, you get 253. That's the last second usable. Yeah, very smart. So for that, you just need to assign get into PC3. Hopefully this is correct. In a short while, we'll find out whether this is correct or not. So we'll just assign 192.168.2.253. And then Again, the subnet mask is 255.255.255 because again, this is a slash 24. And for the default gateway, okay, now this is a little bit, uh, you have to be careful here. So for the default gateway, we will always set the last address for the router. Now in this case, we go back to router here. Before that, please make sure you know the interface. We are using FA01. Okay, look at this. We are going to use this FA01 here. So go into router 0 and you get to the config. Now in the place of interface here, you want to use 01. So this 01 here. Okay, so click on 01. And we want to assign the last IP of LAN 2, which is 192.168.2.254. We have already got this earlier. Click on the subnet mask, automatically you'll get this number. Remember to turn on. Press on the on button. Yeah, that's it. Router for LAN 2 is done. Now this one you can in fact you can just copy paste this if you are the kind of lazy person. Just copy and paste and then go back to the PC3 here. The router in LAN 2 is 192.168.2.254 Yeah, now to see whether we have done this correctly, let's check on the activity list again. And over here, 
let's click on check results here assessment pc3 yes now you see that pc3 we have already set the right ip address so we get one extra point there cool okay now uh we are Try uh, we'll try the same thing for PC4. So let's get back to the network here. Remember, for PC4, we want to set the 10 usable IP. Okay, so 10 means you count from the first IP la. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the 10 usable IP is dot 10 because we start with dot 1. Okay, for people who say array start with for programmer, programmer said array start with zero. But remember, zero is a network address, so first usable is dot one, the ten usable is dot ten. So let's go back to PC4, get to the IP configurations here, and type 192.168.2.10 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. The router for LAN2 is 2.254, the last address. For line number two. Okay, now hopefully this is correct. Let's go back to the activity list to check whether we got this right. Check results. Yeah, we got all everything right for PC3 and PC4 as well. Cool. So the only part left is PC5. Now uh PC5 is using what we call the CIDR, which is not the easy, not slash 8, not 16, not 24. It is an odd subnet mask. So for this one, uh, the calculation is a little bit complex. I will explain to you how to do it. Uh, but I think we are running out of time. Okay, before I go further, can I know anybody here have any class right now? Or can we just delay the, uh, extend the stream for 10 minutes? Do we have 10 minutes? Guys, please let me know if you can continue because we have one more network to go. No means no class, right? Okay, then uh, we'll finish this up. So uh, right now we already done for LAN 1 and LAN 2. We only have one land to go, the yellow color one. And yeah, don't worry, this is really quick because uh in land three, in land three we only have one PC, which is PC5. Okay, now let's read the instruction for land three. For PC5, the last PC that we have today, we want to set it to the first usable IP in uh in land three. So again, this is quite simple. The first one, which is always uh we can just easily get this after we've done the calculations but you have to be careful here because right now LAN3 is using a slash 25 mask so look at this one here all the while for LAN1 and LAN2 we are using slash 24 we call that a classful addressing because we know to count is very simple but 25 that one you have to be careful because you definitely need to do the decimal to binary conversions. You cannot use the shortcut that I have shown you earlier. So I will show you how I calculate for this network. And then once we get the range, we'll come back to this packet tracer file and then we help Bob to configure the last network. Okay guys, so you mean that okay, you mean that you see slash twenty four in the packet tracer file, is that right? So you are saying that you see slash twenty four for LAN tree, not twenty five. Okay, now in that case, uh, in that case, I think that is just an error on the on the packet. It's just the writing error. Can you change that to slash twenty five? Okay, I will fix the packet tracer file. I will re-upload the the new one. But for now, please change that land tree. Change the mask from slash twenty four to slash twenty five. 
okay you want because i want to show you an example of how you calculate for a bit sub and mass okay guys so before we go further change it from slash 24 to 25 okay if you do not know how to change it that's okay change it in your mind just think that land tree is having a slash 25 sub net mass yeah guys correct so like i said earlier uh your network and mine will be different which is why you have to check what is the interface for your network okay this uh this is on purpose because uh in the exam you will get different different network interface from your friend and the very first thing that you should be careful is to find out the correct interface number okay so what i'm showing you here i'm using fa00 and fa01 if yours is different you have to follow the interface that you see on your network <coughs> okay now let's continue with the last example here so you have the network 192 16830 okay so again like i said earlier this is a slash 25 mask not 24 sorry for that and we want to get the first address and the last address the usable one okay you see in this example it is a bit different because we already get the network address okay so like i said earlier there are two ways this can happen first one you get an IP address of the host in the network then you have to count the network address on your own another case is you already get the network address so you don't have to count what is the network address but you still need to count what is the usable range of the IP address okay so going back to the calculations here uh, a slash 25 means that you have 25 bits for network and you have only 7 bits left for the host now for us to do that you have to convert this to binary first so this is the network address okay now i want to convert this network address to its binary notation so uh for those who didn't see how i do it earlier i'll show this to you i will use this my favorite uh decimal to binary one and then you press 192 convert and then you get the binary numbers so in our case you have one one zero 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 zero. Now if you do the same for one six eight, you will get one zero one zero one zero zero zero. Just to be sure, I will just press this down. Uh, okay, that's correct. And then for number three, you can just press three. Of course, if you already know this on your mind, you don't even need a calculator. So one one. Then I have two zero in front, four zero in front. You always need to pack this to 8 bits okay now of course the last one is all zero because this is a network address now here the next thing is you have to be careful about the, the boundaries here remember a slash 25 means the first 25 bits is for network so starting from the left, left bit go all the way under here this is 24 but this case, this example is 25, so actually your network bit goes until here. Which means that only the last 7 bit here is for the whole speed. Okay, this is a little bit different, you have to be careful here. Now, uh, if you want to know the range, follow the same rules. For network address, all the host bit set to 0. For broadcast address, all the host bit set to 1 so in this case I already know this is a network address because in fact we are given now the last address which is the broadcast address okay uh, let me move this away now over here you will be the same thing so the front part will be the same 11000 and then here you have a zero because remember you have 25 never, uh, never bits and the remaining seven will be the whole speed so for broadcast address set all the whole speed to one which means we have seven one here one 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 
that is the how you get the last address, the broadcast address. Okay, so to make this clearer, we will convert this one back to decimal. So you have one nine two one six eight three zero, and that gives us the network address one nine two one six eight dot three dot zero, and then for the broadcast address one nine two one six eight three. Now, here, remember you have to convert binary back to the decimal number. So again, I'll bring up my calculator, change this from binary to decimal, and then you put in 7, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And you press convert, then you get 1, 2, 7 as the decimal. So over here, Network address is 3.0 slash 95. Broadcast address is 3.127 slash 95. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get the usable range, the first usable and the last usable IP. So let me write this down a little bit. Now, very simple. The first usable IP is the network address plus 1. So 192.168.3. Dot one, okay. The last usable is the last address minus one, so one nine two, one six eight, three dot one two six. These are minus one, some plus one. This is how you get the first usable and the last usable IP address. So before we go back to the network, is this clear for you? Do you actually is exactly the same thing except that. Uh, you have one extra bit in the last octet here. So if you're okay, then we'll use this address range, go back to Packet Tracer, and help Bob to solve the final challenge. So now let's go back to the network here. And yeah, uh, let me zoom this in a bit. And always bring back the instructions. In fact, in fact, just a fun fact, what I'm showing you here today is something that you will get in your lab test. Okay? Not everything, but something like this. So you get a bit of flavor like what am I going to get for my lab test one? It is something like that. And this thing that we learned today is actually part of the exam in your lab test one. So now PC5, we need to set the first address in Lantry, which is simple because first address mark. So go to PC5. Go to the IP configurations and you put in 192.168.3.1. First address for LAN3 is not one. Okay. Now, in the place of subnet mask, this is where you have to be careful a bit because 255.255.255.0 is actually slash 24. Now, what about slash 25? Slash 25 is actually 128. Okay, now for those who do not know how to get this number, uh, you can you can look at the example here. So uh, if you know this is fine, but just in case you don't know, how do I get one to eight? The reason is because right now a slash twenty five mask So a slash 25 means that you have 25 1. So four octets here. You have 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then 1 the 1 only 1 in only 1 1 in the last octet 0 0 0 7 0 here. That's a slash 25 mask. So uh, if you convert this one back it's 255 255 255 now the last one is 1000 and then four zeros. Now if you do not know this is 128, again press your calculator. So if you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, comma this, then this is 128. Okay, that is how I know that the mass is actually 255, 255, 255, dot 128. So if you go back here, 
make sure that you get this correctly. This is supposed to be 1 to 8 here, not dot 0 here. Okay, so if you are, you are done with this, next thing is the default gateway, the router. So again, the same rules here, use the last address for the router and make sure you get the interface correctly. For my case, I will use FA10. Okay, yours might be different, so please check your interface properly. So I will go into my FA10. If yours is running on Ethernet, then you go to Ethernet. Okay, I go to 10 and I want to put in the last address. So if you cannot remember what is the last address, let's take a look at what we calculated earlier. So earlier we say that the broadcast address is 127, last address is minus 1, so you get 126. Which means that when we set the router, we need to set 126 for the router. That is the last address for LAN number 3. So 192.168.3.126. And then you press uh, this one submit mask here again again remember to change this to 128 okay and then last thing always remember to turn this on and yeah that's it your router is up and running and let's see whether we have got this correctly uh, there's one more thing missing oh we I forget to put in the router for PC5. So let's get back to PC5 here and then set 192.168.3 the one that we have just set on router earlier 3.126 which is the last address of LAN3. So if you have done this I think yeah we have done all the challenge and now Bob will get employee of the month thanks to your effort today. But just to be sure uh, or just to show off let's see whether we get all the marks properly. Uh, press check activity yes that's it you can see this message that means that you have already uh, configured all the IP address on all five PC correctly and also on the three interface on the router correctly and Bob thank you for that so again today uh, what we have learned is we have learned about the concept of IP address and you have also learned how to calculate the address range and also, also the most important thing, you know how to put this IP onto the computer correctly. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, I will still be on the chat. Thank you very much. And sorry for the minor error that you are seeing on the package tracer file. That's fine. Just remember, uh, we have already made the corrections. And like always, if you have questions after the class, drop it on Slido. Uh, I'll reply to you when I see them. Okay, so until then, thank you for joining. TGIF, happy weekend, peace out.